Hi guys, another rainy day in Miami and I wanted to give you two examples of what I woke up today to. I don't even know what that is. That If that's a mealy, that's the biggest I've ever seen. This looks really bad. It has to be mealies. And I don't want to get her too close to anything else. But this one is an obvious. So this is how I spotted it. Because against the white, they're 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 gray, so you can see them. Look. Look at this. And the leaves look good. But usually they like to get under the leaf and in between. Uh-huh. There's one. There's some more. And just look at this stem. I was wondering why all the flowers fell. It was so beautiful. And then look. disgusting so what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna hold off I have to go teach a spin class but when I get back I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for now there's so many disgusting mealies on here that I'm gonna separate these two and put them far away from everything else and how sad because look this one is growing so nicely but unfortunately, yeah, infestation, infestation. I don't know if they get on the roots. I haven't seen that. I mean, the roots look good. I took off the plastic um, sleeve pot and then I water her and then just kind of stick her back in here. I know she probably needs a lot more ventilation, but this one was in my house. All these mealies were in my house. How disgusting. So I'm gonna separate her, but I know how I'm gonna hopefully remedy this situation and um, I'll come back and show you. I'm not going close. What? What the heck? Where is it? You don't see it in that plant? No. You don't see it. Look through the camera. Look through the camera. Do you see it now? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> where? I can't see the plant. Right there. I right there. Okay. This is know. like my worst nightmare. This is my worst nightmare. This thing jumps out. We'll call daddy. Tell him to bring, I don't know what. Daddy! A, a broom, a broom or a net or. Oh my God. Not cool. That is so not cool. Hi guys, so little scare of my life. I mean, you'll see the picture, it wasn't like a snake or anything, but I was reaching down into here because it had rained. So in this um, decorative pot, it was full of water and I have her kind of resting on another pot. And this frog, and I am going to put a picture there for you. I even have a video of this frog that just comes out of nowhere and just is like, ready to jump on my face. Ha! Huh, I scream so loud. We have um, a little bit of um, home renovation going on, just a little, and they came over to see what was going on because I screamed so horribly. But I mean, when you see the picture of the frog, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip it right in between this and the next thing I'm gonna show you. It was awful. 
it jumped all the way across my little orchid pergola. It got on the wall, it went up the pole. It basically did a hip hop on each fowl, ended up right there. And then we said goodbye and let her go somewhere in my backyard, AKA the wilderness. But anyways, I'm gonna stop it so I can slip in that video before I show you my Violetta looking gorgeous. I'm not going close. What the heck? Where is it? You don't see it in the plant? No. You don't see it. Look through the camera. Look through the camera. Do you see it now? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> where? I can't see the plant. Right there. I like it. Okay. This uh, is like my worst nightmare. This is my worst nightmare. This thing jumps out. We'll call daddy. Tell him to bring, I don't know what. Daddy, a, a broom. A broom or a net or. Oh my God. Not cool. That is so not cool. And now I want to show you really quickly my Violetta. I had a viewer mentioned that I maybe should consider cutting her. And, but see, I don't know where to cut her. I'm not sure. I mean, this cakey, sorry for the wind, it's windy. This cakey, I don't even know which roots exactly belong. I'm such a beginner that I don't think I have the guts to cut her. I don't know where to cut. I already put her on. She's not really attaching to, I mean, look, it, she kind of is attaching, but I just don't know where to cut. I have no idea where I would cut. And these are doing double duty. Not only are they hydrating, but they are providing a little shade for this one that used to be getting too much sun. And now, see, she's like being a screen. So. Yeah, one more view. Let me see if I go this way. Look at that. This is spectacular. I got on the ladder yesterday and it was like I went into a candy store. Beautiful. I am in love. I bought her with one spike, I believe. And then those died away. And then look, here she is. I want to say four months later four months later with a double spike and these are even bigger than the ones that I first bought her with so I'm really really proud of how awesome she looks <sighs> that's what I wanted to show you now that I can breathe again and look at all the palm fronds on the ground apparently it was windy today and one thing that I didn't notice this crazy cakey I'm sure if I I just, I don't want to hurt it, but I didn't even see this thing growing at all like this. Hmm, I'm gonna use two hands and do it properly and then I'll see where I attach her. Here's another one, but look, it's kind of attaching itself to the tree. So I don't know if she wanted to be on the tree and the wind pulled her off. Maybe I can kind of tie her with this and she wants to stay. That might be a good idea. But yeah, hanging down. It was windy today. Look at this. Everything everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, the vendors are still doing awesome. And part of this video is going to be what I do with those um, mealybug situation that I found. And I plan to go back over here to see if the fowls that I put on this tree. Oh, look at this beautiful spider. Now, this is a surprise because I thought she was yellow, but she may be pink. I thought she was in bloom and she was yellow. Maybe I'm just crazy. But this is also a nice surprise. This fowl that wasn't doing well, I just put her on the tree. And here she is, about 
about to bloom. If anyone has suggestions for a jasmine plant that's going loco, she's crazy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with her, but she's going everywhere. And, um, okay, I'm going to run over there. Hold on. Okay, I made it. This is so peaceful, yet creepy, because now I'm creeped out. You know how when you get creeped out, you kind of continue to feel creeped out for a while? So these are the fowls that got sunburned. They weren't doing so well. And I put them on there in a little blanket type thing. They look okay. This one looks okay. And this one's falling out. This one is falling out. So I'm going to have to see how I adjust her because she is totally, she's about to fall out. Or maybe it was an animal that decided that they wanted to be nosy, which happens in my yard. And in the morning, I don't know what went on. But yes. Okay, not bad. I thought with the wind and all that, it was going to be worse. But I'm going to come out, put her more securely. The others are okay. And I'm thinking some dendrobiums, like my friend Nature Nell told me that's a good idea because they're hardy. I can't do the Shemberkia. I only have one. <laughs> I only have one. So I want to keep her close. Anyway, that's a short little, short little update. I have a lot of plant chores to do. Um, plant chores. And one of the most important things is taking care oh look at my mango tree growing it's about almost five feet tall and i bought her waist high so that's an improvement i think this one's my orange tree with two oranges already that's nice to see i love this i think i was meant to be a farmer Oh my gosh, I already have, I have lime. No, this is not lime. This one is lemon. This one is Myers lemon. And this one already passed me in height. So I'm kind of shocked. And this one is lime. I guess it's shorter. But I've had to spray this one because, as you can see, the bugs. Boo! Mm -hmm. The bugs. You ready? You ready for dinner? Yeah, look. Yuck, 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 yuck. Look at this. Ew! So I'm going to continue. I know. Look, we're almost there. Look at that. Don't take it off. It has to grow. It has to get yellow because it's a lemon, like the picture. Okay. Nice. You want to have dinner? Let's go. You're, you had dinner without me? I guess I'm taking too long. Nice. So guys, just this little update. The next thing I'll probably put in there is the mealy bug infested orchids that I need to do something quick. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, welcome back to Melissa Loves Orchids. Remember I had these two plants, this one, and this one. This one is so gross that I don't even want to touch it. The mealies are going crazy. I'm still in my work clothes and I just wanted to show you this one. Look how it's not looking that awesome. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. I do see some white fuzz. Um, I sprayed her already. I had to spray her with, um, I did some of this insecticidal soap and I left it for a little bit and then I saw that she still has a bunch of little I don't even know what they are they don't look exactly like mealies but it looks like maybe they are baby mealies I'm not sure bottom line the experts have weighed in and when your plant is declining then it might be best to mount so that's the plan. This one, this one it is so bad. I have to show you for any anyone that sees this. I'm trying to get it to 
I mean, these are so big and disgusting. And I'm not saying that phalaenopsis are expendable, but I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you that, oh, look, this one on the leaf, you could see clearly. Do you see it there? So if you haven't seen them, there they are. They bite at the leaves, they ate, they sucked all the life out of the blooms that it had. All in between, it is infested. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I already took, I already took some alcohol and cleaned my shears. So I disinfected my shears and this one seems to be in dire need. So right off the bat, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this spike all the way off. All the way off. There's no room for any playing around here because these horrible things are everywhere. They're so gross. And I just had a frog jump out of me. So yeah, two things that I'm not thrilled about. Now, I can't see if you're seeing, but first things first, remove. Eesh. I'm so grossed out right now, guys. This is the olden, in the olden days, I would have just thrown out this whole plant and not even thought of rescuing, saving, cleaning. me so I'm gonna save her from these pests okay. there's a lot of bugs here so I don't think you want help right now there's a lot of bugs bad bugs can I do that? See? See? I do that. Okay, guys. So you need to make sure to get inside the leaves. See? Can you see this? I hope you can. Let me try to make it focus. I don't know if you can see it, but I sprayed it. These mealies are intense. They are not as bad as thrips. And lucky for me and for you, you can see them. So since you can see them, it makes it easier than thrips. So right now I can't even... <gasps> Sometimes these things are stressful. Sometimes these things are stressful. Okay, so no mealies in sight. So now I soaked her and it looks like she might be in some kind of a peat moss. And then she has like double, seems like there's like a middle type plug situation. Maybe, maybe not. So the roots look good. I'm not going to make you sit through it. So I'm just going to clean her out. And then as long as I see no other mealies. Oh, look, and I, I broke this leaf. That was unfortunate. It's a casualty. But I think that she'll be happier without those bugs. And I don't see any down here in the root system. Root system looks good and green. I haven't received that many orchids that come in this. 
whatever it is, it's getting the consistency of a sponge, of, um, of soil. I think it might be peat moss, maybe cocoa bark or something. It's not, it's not, I don't even know what it is. But I'm gonna remove, clean the roots, and then um, come back with round two of <sighs> fixing the infestation. Hey guys, round two. I just wanted to show you what I'm working with. It's called the Doris and Byron. So if you remember from any past videos, and it's such a shame because look, she has a new growth right here looking very healthy. Another new growth right here, but then next to it, you see a leaf that is not looking good. So something's going on in there and we got to get to the bottom of it sometime. And can't be afraid to what is going on wow so I see dead roots that aren't even attached I see dry up roots and what looks like little baby mealies oh my goodness and this look at this I think it is I mean they're furry Maybe I'm wrong, but this one has been through so much. And then this, I don't even know what that is. It's moving. It is huge. It's like, look at that. Can you see this? This huge thing is moving. I don't even know what kind of a bug. This is like what? I have to hold it up. I don't know if it's a bunch of mealies together. <sighs> so I got home from work. It is literally the third day of school. So it was a nice day, but this is not nice to find. I mean, I don't know if, if she'll recover from this. These roots are bad. So I think the first step is gonna have to be soak her. Clean her up. her up. Oh boy. All right, so I'm not going to put you through that. I'm going to clean her up as best I can. If there's any mealies, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack them. Um, hopefully I can save her, but my plan of attack, I don't see any new roots growing except for maybe this side. My choice is probably to put her on bark, but I don't think she's even ready for that. I think I have to clean her up and put her in water and try to rehydrate her. That's what I'm thinking that is the best option. Rehydrate her in like a clear, um, a clear container. I think I have just the one that is gonna be good. And then make sure I clean her off very well. Look at that. Those are a lot of bugs. I wasn't expecting so much. See? Bugs. What is that? Oh, nothing. So disappointed. You could tell where they've been eating right at the base of the pseudobulbs and chomping away. So there's not a lot of life left. And I really didn't have a lot of signs, outward signs. You know, it looked okay. It looks okay. Is she going to live? Who knows? I'm going to wash her off. I'm going to spare you. And then I'm going to put her in a little, maybe a glass and keep her inside for a little bit. And I know it's probably not good to be inside, outside, but she is not good. Look, they even, this is amazing in the worst way. They bit through the leaf and basically got into the pseudobulb. It's amazingly horrific. And there's little brown things too. So I am like, if there was an orchid urgent care, we'd be on the way. So thank you for joining me. I am gonna clean this mess up and hopefully save her, put her in some water. Definitely gonna need insecticidal soap, might need some stronger insecticide 
and we'll see. I will update you to see if she will survive. I hope she does. Thank you for joining me, guys. Okay, so on a good note, I see that on the end here, I see some roots growing. So that's good. Um, I cleaned her off. She seems to be clean. I took off some roots that were dead. I don't want to take off everything because it just seems like she needs some. So, hmm, if I mount her, is she going to attach or should I put her in water? I'm thinking that I had such a good result with my other one. I don't know if you can see. They're hanging right there where I'm pointing. They're hanging. It was dehydrated and almost dead and limp and um, wrinkly leaves. And I put her in water for like a few days or a week and you could see that it made a big improvement. So I'm thinking the first step is going to be um, the water. So I'm going to put her in water and just kind of let the roots hang out in the water. I'm going to have her close by inside so that I can watch her carefully. And that's it. Doesn't she look better? Look at that rhizome. I think she looks better. Over here I see some new roots right there. I see some good roots back here. It's just the brown ones in the middle. There are a little wishy-washy. But hey, I'm going to give her a chance to come back around. I hope that she does. Sometimes, you know, you look at your plants and you don't see, you don't see anything, but you need to poke around and you need to even, you know, it's almost like, huh? and it's sad because they get so deep that you almost have to, I've been using this um, stake to try to make sure that I've gotten every little piece and every time I look, I, I feel like I bump into more. And they get in there. They get in there really deeply. And it's sad because you know the plant can't tell you, hey, help. But um, I really wouldn't like to lose her. I actually got her from Judelli's. She has these beautiful lavender flowers. Um, I don't know if this is one of the ones that you'd consider blue because it's very lavender but looks blue um yeah you can look it up i might have to make another tag because this one's not cutting it doris and byron when i looked this name up um it was accurate to what she looked like when she bloomed so guys i'm gonna soak her in water i already sprayed her i washed her down i hydrogen peroxide everything i could do scoured the area and scraped off anything else that I see. I did my best. Did I, did I get everything? I really hope I did. I hope I did. So I'll see you back later and give you another update. Okay. We got rid of the frog. My husband had to chase that frog out of here and it went right to the uh, Crucia hedge over there. So we didn't kill it for the nature people because I know that we need frogs and frogs eat the bugs. So, um, yeah, we just moved her out. This is for orchids only. She was not welcome. She almost gave me an attack when she almost jumped out of the pot. She got into that pot and was nice and snuggly with my um, Hoya over there that's doing beautifully. I'll show her to you. this I love it she's like pink 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 so nice she's doing so well and I only got her for ten dollars at um, a heavenly garden which is right next to Bang Jong right there on Chrome Avenue in Homestead where you can find a lot of orchid vendors and so yeah she's doing great I think heavy so I know I don't have to water her look if I can squeeze her rain today 
So anyways, thank you for joining me guys. I'm gonna hope to save my little um, mid-size another tag for her and the goal is to mount her on one of these cork mounts that I bought. This one that I bought came when it arrived. It came in two pieces so I'm going to have to find smaller ones to attach on here. Or maybe I can make it like a hammock type thing. I don't know. Time for me to get creative. Thank you for joining me. I hope you like and subscribe. Um, I know that there's an orchid sale coming up this weekend unfortunately we're not going to be here we're going to be away on a little trip for my daughter's birthday so i'm sad to miss it but i'm sure a lot of other um youtubers are going to be there covering and um and i'll be watching because the last one was awesome Opie brings in the very very best so and that's carlos from Opie's. so i will see you guys later thank you for being there through youtube kind of making me feel like i can do this i can do this this was a major this was major and the other one is still soaking she's still soaking because that stuff that she came in it was all over the place i didn't expect to do this on a monday night right after work but now i gotta go inside we gotta do homework baths we already had dinner and um time to leave her in recovery thanks for joining me i hope you like and subscribe so i couldn't end this on that negative note with the mealies and that situation and the frog that's not a very nice video so i went by home depot to see what they have and I bumped into this beauty that looks to be yellow, but I have a picture already in my pictures that I Googled and I found, I'll show you the name, Volcano Pastoral Volcano Queen. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is growing sheaths and two of them and it just looks like the roots are healthy and you can't go wrong for $16 can't wait to have her for a little bit but not gonna repot her just yet my next video coming up and this is how my friend turned out over here and just in case i'm gonna move her away from everyone else here in the orchid pergola look at those beauties i always have to show them again and again but just in case you were wondering what has she learned so far? What has she been learning? What are her top maybe five do's and don'ts and all that? That's coming up. That's going to be the next video. I want to tell you what are the top five things that I have learned, how I learned them, and my opinion on basically, you know, what I wouldn't do again. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned for this next video. Top five or so. Look at this. Look at the ants going bonkers. It's like a lemonade stand for them. Top five things that I've learned so far in my orchid collecting and growing journey. Have a great day. Thank you.